Hello and welcome to the Monday Night Football Game Picks video brought to you by lineups.com. I am your host, Matthew Motto, here with my co-host, Jason Gilbo. So, Bears, Steelers. I feel like I'm in the 1960s. We're about to see some, you know, true gritty football being played. In reality, I think we're going to want to rip our eyeballs out. But that does not mean that there's not good bets for this game. Um, Jason, how are you feeling about it? Luckily, the Bears are so bad that it makes me feel comfortable to bet. Um, Because I know the Steelers are not really that great of a team this year, Um, especially on the offensive side of the ball. But the Bears are just so bad. And the fact that Matt Matt Nagy's coming back is probably – um, actually lessens their odds this game. Yeah, that, that really hurts them. I think that's probably the biggest detriment for their team is Matt Nagy. So so it's safe to say you like the Steelers minus six and a half. I, I do, yeah. Um, and it has a lot to do with, I, I don't think the Steelers put up a ton of points in this game, but I, they put up enough to cover the spread just because I think the Bears' offense is so bad. Um, 15.4 points per game. Um, this is a team that's averaging 4.4 yards per play. And this, this Steelers defense, it's it's not as, as great as prior years, but this is still a top 12 defense in the league, uh, especially against the run, which is kind of where the Bears can excel. Possibly getting David Montgomery back, probably on a pitch count for this one. Uh, Justin Fields did show some rushing ability last week, but uh, against this front seven, I don't see them having a ton of success uh, on the ground. On the flip side, um, it's another thing. Chicago's defense not as great as prior years, uh, kind of holding some name value at this point. And they're allowing 5.8 yards per play, which is 22nd in the league. They're 20th in points defense. Um, so they're kind of still holding that, oh, the Bears still have a good defense because they're the Bears, but they actually haven't been. And they're kind of beatable. And I think Najee Harris has kind of found his groove. The offensive line has been playing a little bit better. Um, so I think the Steelers come out and just kind of have pretty good stronghold on this game. And, and I can see them kind of winning by a 10, 13 point margin. Well, yeah, I mean, you wa- if you watched the game against the 49ers, like really, you went back, watched the All-22 Ayuk, Debo Samuel, no problem getting open. Elijah Mitchell was tearing them up. Um, it would kind of be like, you know, the Bears defense would have one good play, stop him in the backfield, then give up a 12-yard rush. Then stop him in the backfield, give up a 12-yard rush. Um, they just cannot consistently get it done. I really like the Steelers as well. When it comes to over-under, <laughs> I said this on Sunday Night Football, so I'm sorry it's a cop-out. I don't like either. I don't recommend betting the over or the under. I think 39 is a fantastic line by the sports books. I mean, hard-pressed, if you're asking me I have to make a choice, I'm going under. Um, but just doesn't feel good because I think Najee Harris and Deontay Johnson could have good enough games where this over ends up coming to fruition. So that's going to kind of lead me to my first prop bet, if you will, in the alternate away points of under 18 for the Bears. Now, this is at minus 160. I like this to add to a parlay. Um, when you get it to under 18, you get that 17-point total still hitting. And I think that's the big reason why I'm not willing to just click under 16 and a half, which is the uh, given line. So, right now, Caesars isn't letting you parlay those. So, I made that giant spiel, <laughs> and it doesn't even matter. But I will say that's my favorite bet when it comes to total points on the night. Um, something to note, there's, is I, I kind of sort through the game props and see if I can find anything that helps the line. Um, team to score three unanswered times is yes, minus 200. Um, oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a pretty good indicator that they are expecting the Bears offense to not do a damn thing this game. <laughs> exactly. Um, and I'm... You know, I, I like the under for their tool as well. There's not a ton of game props that I love in this one just because the value is pretty high for or pretty low for the Steelers side of things, and I'm not betting anything bears unless it's an under. Yeah, I mean, I could see pick quarters one at four at plus 1,200 seems a little too high. Three at 245 seems also like a good bet. I might click three and four, and if you win either, you're – getting positive money because it's at plus 245 and plus 1200 i don't see them winning only two quarters i actually think it's gonna be three or four so i think that combo bet of a bet slip with with three quarters one and a bet slip with four quarters one could be a really smart place to go um in this one i'm actually gonna keep track of that i'm curious to see how that one plays out for this game Uh, DraftKings has team to record the most punts, Bears minus 125. I'll definitely take that. (laughs) Yeah, they have Chicago outcome of first drive, minus 150 on punt. Um, The thing is, like, 
I, I'm feeling turnover at plus 440. Ooh, yeah, that's and, and another good call. We're not big fans of the Bears team right now. I think they need <laughs> to retool. I wish Montgomery would have came back before trade deadline because I think the Bears legitimately might have traded him because Herbert has looked so good. Um, it would have helped my dynasty fantasy football team too. But anyway, enough about my fantasy football team. That's going to wrap it up for this video. Not a lot to talk about, really. We think the Steelers are going to win. We think they're going to win handedly. Um, low scoring game, but I really like Chicago under 18. Um, I wouldn't mind Steelers over 22 and a half, which is the current line. I think that's also a, a good bet, but hopefully you can get better odds pricing than minus 130 on that, which is what it is on Caesars at the moment. Uh, if you have not, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps us out. You can also click the bell to get notified. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you disliked it, a dislike and comment down below your favorite bets for this game. You can tell us how wrong we are, how right we are. We love interacting with you guys, and uh, we appreciate your engagement. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you for the player prop video.